Hello and welcome to the video. So Cyberpunk has a new update that is literally like right around the corner. And with that, mods break. <laughs> so this video is going to be just a checklist for those of you who don't know what the f to do with all your mods and all that mess. Because they just won't work day one when the patch comes out. But there is a couple things you can do if one, you want to play your current game with all your current mods with no issues. Or two, you want to have no mods installed, but not have to uninstall them. And you just want to check out the new patch and what, what's been added. Well, I'm going to show, I'm going to all of that. All right. You're going to know everything. And it's going to be like the shortest video ever too. Anyway, so let's get into it. Now, firstly, if you don't know, the mods that do get broken when every update releases are the main requirement mods. Like Cyber Engine Tweaks, Red 4 EXT, Archive XL, Tweak XL, red script and codeware those mods are the ones that you'll be looking out for after the patch to make sure that they get updated now normally it takes i'm gonna say like four days because in my experience it's about four days some some people are saying it's like within 24 hours i'm saying cap because that's not been the case and then also really quickly i hope i don't mention this again later because i've forgotten i've said it but if the patch adds anything like it did with either the last patch or the patch before where they added Johnny Silverhand as a passenger for you, that was a mod before that. So what I'm saying is if the patch adds anything like that, that is already a mod, you'll want to just uninstall that mod. All right, hopefully that made sense. Now, if you want to continue playing your game with your mods and not download the patch until everything's good and sorted, you can actually do so. I'm going to show you how to disable automatic updates on epic games i know most people probably have it on steam or gog but both the, all of the platforms you can disable automatic mods at uh, mods holy crap mods is just on the brain you can you can disable automatic updates for your games on epic games uh, it's the only one i know how to do it you want to open epic games and click on the three dots for cyberpunk then go manage and turn off auto update because that will get in a that will just get in the way if you don't want to download the patch right away obviously now, as for Steam, I have come up with a solution that you could do. When the update is out and you know it's out, just launch Steam in offline mode or just unplug your Ethernet cable. Turn off the Wi-Fi. We don't want to update instantly, do we? No. But as for GOG or Steam, if you want to disable automatic updates, just do a quick Google search and I'm sure there's a way, man. Now, if you're like me and want to check out the patch right away without any mods interfering because they won't be updated and usable just yet then what you can do is i'd probably just not open um vortex at all but that's not even the main thing that's that's not going to be in the way at all what you can do is then just launch your game via your platform whether it be steam gog or epic games like myself once your game launches from the platform it should have a window like this i know it does on epic games and i know it does on gog I'm mostly sure it does on Steam because I googled it and it said it does. But anyways, from here you can just do this, click on this like cog, and then just disable mods. And then launch your game with no mods interfering. It won't be your mods that are downloaded manually and it won't be your mods that are downloaded on Vortex. They will just not interfere. And you should be able to play. It's, it's actually that easy. I don't know why it seems so complicated. I don't think I'm missing anything because this is how I do it every update. But yeah, you shouldn't have to remove any mods or any of that. And also, I believe that every patch that CDPR actually has this disabled by default as well. Uh, let me just make sure I wrote some dot points down so I can make this as less messy as possible. Another thing you can actually do if you don't want to remove all your mods, but you don't want them in the way is just go to profiles, make a new profile, add a cyberpunk profile and just name it whatever. I did it for this. Enable that profile and all your mods will be no longer in the way. They're all just disabled. But that, that's just another thing you can do. My other idea was better. I think you can just launch your game normally and that window that pops up, you can just disable mods and just launch from there and it should be fine. But after after all of that, just keep checking for these mods and make and see if they're updated. Just check for updates and after a few days, you'll be able to just play your game with all your mods again. I think I got through everything that I wanted to talk about today. I hope it is helpful and beneficial i mostly am just talking out my ass i to be honest but i do hope that this checklist of sorts helps people out and if there's something i missed or if you need more information go over to my post page on youtube uh, you probably do you know how to find it here i'll show i'll take you there so go to my youtube channel you don't click it like i do but anyways go to this post page on youtube and this has i think it has all the info i just went through and said but yeah, if, if just something in the video just doesn't click with you or whatever, it's probably, it's probably here. 
and it should help you out. But hopefully I said everything that needed to be said. So with that said, hopefully this checklist did help you out. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if it, just leave a like. <laughs> subscribe if you're not already subscribed because when the update is all fixed and working well, there will be more mod videos of all of the best mods that have come out. And hey, here's to hoping that we get official modding tools or modding support from CDPR in this update because that would be awesome.